Welcome, everyone. This is Justin Chug with Insable, and today we're going to be talking about email automation strategies. One of the reasons why email automation is so crucial to lowering customer acquisition costs is because follow-up emails are the only means of actually achieving sales and moving forward with prospects. And so typically, what we found is that between the 5th and the 12th emails, which is pretty far out there, is where most of the responses and appointments actually come from. And so in order to achieve a fifth to a 12th email, it's going to take a lot of manual labor and a lot of work. And so layering on some automation and tools to this process is crucial to getting you those, those appointments. And we can see there's a pretty big gap between the fifth and the 12th emails versus the fourth and the first and everything else in between. And so you don't want to have to be scheduling appointments in your CRM or your calendar to be following up with thousands of prospects. That would certainly increase your customer acquisition cost. And so we wanted to introduce you to a few of a few, few tools that you can leverage to help implement a follow-up process. My favorite follow-up tool that I've seen on the marketplace, which is fairly affordable, it's between $39 to $100 a month. But this tool, known as Woodpecker, allows you to integrate with your existing email platform so you're not using a third-party platform. So just to kind of explain how that works is a lot of times you'll use somebody else's email server to send out the emails. What that does is it helps safeguard your the reputation of your email service. But the problem with that is you're sharing other people's servers, and a lot of times they get mixed in with other campaigns, and the delivery rates go really are really low. Now. What you want to do is if you're using a platform like this, you'd have to register a new domain, probably something similar to your existing domain. That way you keep it separate from your traditional emails because if something does go sideways, you don't want all of your traditional day-to-day -day emails to get blocked. And so you want to keep things separate from any type of email campaigns that you do. But by keeping this isolated and running it on your own server like a Gmail, a business Gmail account, this allows you to keep a very much a much higher reputation. Now, this isn't going to be massive email campaigns, but you know, it's going to allow you to run some traditional medium-sized campaigns that are very, that have a very high delivery rate. So what send what what Woodbecker does is it allows you to queue up an email campaign. And so if you're doing phone calls, if you're doing outbound strategies, it'll manage all of the follow-ups for you. But the key to this is it'll stop following up with them if the client responds. And so that's something you want to automate. And for $39 a month, that's a no-brainer, right? Um, that's more than that's much less than having someone manage those email campaigns for you, which is really what this is doing. And so you can automate a lot of those follow-ups, which are crucial to getting more sales appointments. Now, as I mentioned before, a few things to keep in mind. You want to make sure that you're using a unique domain. What I mean by that is don't use the domain that you do your, you run your business on. So you need to create a separate domain to run these campaigns. Uh, the subject line needs to accurately represent the content. So basically, you're not tricking people. Um, you need to make sure that this is pretty straightforward. Identify this as an advertisement. You don't have to say this is an advertisement, but you need to be honest in what you're doing and explain what you're doing. You need to have a physical address in your signature line or somewhere within the email address. You need to honor the opt-out re replies. And also make sure that there's an easy means of opting out. You may find that some systems are less friendly than others. Um, this will just help you stay on track. Um, you also can check the CAN spam Act for further details and consult with different companies on making sure that you're being compliant with that. Now, an alternative, something that we're, we're beta testing here in Sable is an email introduction tool. This is different from Woodpecker. Um, it's an alternative solution. It's, it's different in that the emails come from in Sable. So if you prefer the emails to come directly from you, uh, Woodpecker is a good option. But the way that this is different is you can send out three different email templates. One is the generic, another one is for uh, referral partner recruiting, and the third is for fiber introductions. I'll kind of explain what these are. Basically, um, you can pull a list from Insable, and then we'll email the contacts on the list. But what we're going to do is we're actually going to carbon copy you on all of the emails. So we send out the email from us, manage all of that process. 
We also manage all of the follow-ups and keep track of any replies to make sure that we're not following up with anybody that's replied to the campaign and also manage those replies for you. But when the emails go out, you get copied on them. And so what we want is we want you to enable, enable you to have a follow-up conversation with the client. So the introduction emails are very generic and they're designed so that you can actually fill in the gap. So if you're doing a generic introduction or a partner introduction or a fiber introduction, each template is, is still very generic, but also geared to that specific messaging. And then from there, you're able to actually have a conversation and kind of explain what you're trying to accomplish. And so what this does is whenever you carbon copy into anyone on an email campaign, it makes the email feel so much more unique and personalized, which is always crucial to any higher, to get higher response rates for any type of email campaign. So that's the purpose of this is to help the emails feel uh, unique and allow you to manually reply to all of the emails. Now, again, that's a big process, but because we're dealing with a much higher quality email um, template here with a carbon copy, you're likely to see a much higher response rate, especially since it's, um, there's three people copying on the emails. Now, this, is, this also works well with a strategy we talked a few months ago about called working with executive assistants. Uh, this would be a great way to implement them into the process and to help you manage the email campaigns, the responses, the follow-ups, and this would be a good way to invest in that type of a sales strategy. You can review that video on the YouTube channel. Now, when you're when it comes to replying to these email strings, whether you're sending it through Woodpecker or through Ensable, um, the best time to actually engage in conversations are Thursdays. It's about a 49% difference from Tuesdays. As far as timing goes, 6 p.m. has proven to be the best timing. Um, the reason is the more busy someone is during the day, the less likely they are to respond to an email. And so if you're reaching out to that executive who's pulling up, um, who's, who's trying to get some stuff done, usually it's around 5 or 6 p.m. when they actually can engage an email and things have calmed down. They're able to actually focus they're more likely to read rather than to delete your email. And that's about 164% difference between that morning email that's really getting bombarded with everything else that they're having to deal with at the beginning of the day. And so they're more likely just to delete it. And so basically, just to kind of summarize, appointment setting via cold emails is directly related to how many emails go out. And so it's crucial to do the follow-up emails. But to do that manually will certainly eat up a lot of your customer acquisition costs. And so you need to layer on automation into that. You can use services like Woodpecker if you want to send it out directly from your email. If you want Ensable to send it out for you and the follow-ups and carbon copy, you can use us as well for that. That's part of our premium service. Um, also remember to keep the timing in place and then also choose a strategy that works for you. So we talk about a lot of different outbound email strategies. There's quite a few out there that you can run with, um, but definitely think about what you want to do in terms of what's the messaging. Um, in most of our calls, we provide you with lots of different email templates so you can review a few of those. Next time we meet, two weeks from today, we're actually going to be talking about legal sales incentives. The different strategies that you can provide financial incentives to companies in order to achieve more sales and so there's lots of different methodologies around this but we'll be talking about that next time so thanks everyone for joining us today we hope you have a great weekend and we'll talk to you in two weeks take care everyone bye-bye